Where election campaigning is firmly underway, this year's general elections will see an unprecedented 48 political parties contesting the national poll. More than 26 million registered voters are expected to participate in the elections slated for the 8th of May, with the ruling African National Party tipped to retain power. But in Cape Town, new and smaller political parties are using public platforms to campaign in the hope that come election day, they'll be rewarded with seats in the, in the National Assembly. CGTN's Travis Andrews has this report. With national elections just around the corner, political parties have already begun to make their mark. Campaign posters around the city show just who's in with a chance. The ruling ANC remains the best odds to continue as the government of the day. But smaller political parties such as the Freedom Front Plus are hoping to increase their presence in the halls of power. They've been promoting their election manifesto at Parliament where they have just a few seats but are hoping a more public election campaign will bring them success at the polls. Your uh, voters out there must see you. They must know what you stand for so that they can know what to vote for. They must know what our values are, that we have Christian values, and then the people will start following you. Among some of the party's key election promises is the call for Cape Town International Airport to be changed to Krotoa International after the first female Koitrons later during the Cape Colony era. They've also joined up with smaller organizations to focus on the promotion of Afrikaans as an important historical language. I'm campaigning for the recognition and the protection of minorities in this country. I'm campaigning that Afrikaans must be respected as an official language. So that, that language can be spoken at universities, at technicons, at our schools. But they, like the 48 other political parties, will have to work hard to win the support of voting South Africans. Smaller parties are becoming more tactical and more vocal, choosing a platform like Parliament to promote their manifesto. Parliament being the seat of power shows the determination of those who are already represented in the National Assembly and those who desperately want to get in. A party who want to make any inroads in the political dispensation must first of all make sure they are represented in the national parliament. Not provincial, nationally, that's where the power lies. The Freedom Front already have representatives, MPs in parliament. But how many smaller political parties are focusing on attracting Cape Town voters who look to be at a crossroads with a dear-led provincial government and who may just seek a new political home come the 8th of May. Travis Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.